Okay, let's see. Eric, Eric Bass, Congressman, is the moon mission still set for 2024? And you know one of the astronauts, right? Johnny Kim, who served with your son, Leif Babin. That must be awesome. Eric, thank you so much. Eric Bass, we appreciate that question. Yes, I know Johnny Kim real well. Uh, he served as one of the snipers on my son's uh, SEAL, uh, SEAL team in uh, 2006. Uh, what a capable guy Johnny Kim is. Uh, a Korean-American, smart, great guy, great sniper, great SEAL. Uh, went back to school. He was an enlisted man. Went back to school, got his bachelor's, went on to Harvard Medical School, became a medical doctor. Didn't stop there. He applied. He was one of 18,000 uh, applicants uh, to take uh, one of 12 astronaut positions. Only 12 positions open, 18,000 uh, 18, plus applications for 12 positions. Guess what? Johnny Kim got it. Great guy. Uh, he'll be flying on these rockets. And yes, you're right. Uh, we still are on track for 2024 uh, to go back to the moon and, and uh, the, the Artemis program. Artemis was the sister of Apollo. Uh, Apollo, the, the Apollo program took, and this is in Greek mythology, Apollo was a Greek god. His sister was Artemis. Apollo took our, our, our astronauts to the moon, and now Artemis, the sister of Apollo, is going to take uh, our, our astronauts back to the moon, and one of them will be a, a lady astronaut this time. So we think it's, uh, it's very, very... Uh, uh, significant that we're, we're calling this this program Artemis. So great question. I have been very honored to have served as the uh, chairman of the subcommittee on space and aeronautics and uh, to be part of our space program and what a, an exciting thing we have going. Uh, I've been uh, to a number of our uh, NASA facilities. I also represent uh, Johnson Space Center down in Houston. Uh, we just sent two astronauts up on a, uh, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket to go to the International Space Station. And uh, yes, we are going to send American astronauts, not on Russian rockets, where we've, been, we've had to pay 80 million a seat to the Russians to send up our own astronauts. We're not going to have to do that anymore because we have a successful program with SpaceX uh, and their Falcon 9 rocket. Boeing is getting ready to uh, and have this as well. Uh, and then we have the, the giant SLS rocket, the Space Launch System, uh, which will take our guys uh, back to the moon. So let's go to the next one. 